Broncos hosting the Jets, and the Jets are plus 112 on the money line. The Broncos are minus 132. The Broncos are anywhere between one and a half and two and a half point favorites, and the over-under is at 43 and a half points. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but you will get my best bets, and you will see how we do win, lose, or draw. We are fairly transparent in there. Now, both of these teams are 1-3 and three overall. The Jets are 2-2 two and two against the spread. The over-under is 2-2 two and two in the games in which they played in. The Broncos are 0-3-1 against the spread, and the over is 3-1 and one in the games in which they've played in. Now, Head-to-head is where we start to get into some fun stuff. The Broncos are 6-3 against the Jets in their last nine meetings. The road team is 5-4. The favorite's on a two-game winning streak, meaning they've won and covered. The favorite is 5-4 against the spread, 5-4 on the money line. The under is hitting their last two, although the over is 5-4. And And the over-under at 43.5, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. The over is 5-4 as well. The last time they played each other was on October 23rd of 2022, and the Jets won that game 16-9 in Denver as a road favorite. In the game before that, the Broncos won on September 26th of 21, 26 to nothing. The Jets are 1-9 in their last 10, 3-7 against the spread, and the under is 7-3 in their last 10 games. They beat the Bills week one, 22-16, 22 to 16, although I think the jo- Josh Allen beat the Bills more than the Jets did, but their defense is legit. Then they lost to the Cowboys 30 to 10, lost to the Patriots 15 to 10, and then lost to the uh, to the Chiefs 23 to 20. And there was a lot that the the Jets did good in that game that Zach Wilson actually looked serviceable. And for the Broncos, they're three and seven in the last 10, four five and one against the spread. And the over is 8-2 in their last 10. Losing to the Raiders 17-16. Losing to the Commanders 35-33. Losing to the uh, Dolphins 70-20. And then coming back and beating the Bears 31-28, which the Bears choked that game away. I don't think the Broncos are going to win this game. I know that it sounds crazy, and I know that this could be taken as an overreaction. Russell Wilson hasn't been turning the ball over, but... He hasn't played a defense this year so far that has looked like what the Jets' defense looks like. And if the Jets' defense can limit Patrick Mahomes in that offense, I think he could do the same thing or they can do the same thing against the Broncos. I'm going to take the Jets with the money line. I'm going to take the Jets getting the points. And I'm going to go under in this game. And I think if it goes under, it's going to go under by like a smidge. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.